my injury, I was living in Singapore um, and I was employed by uh, an alcohol um, company. Uh, my role in that business was uh, business development. Interests outside of work, well, I, I kept myself pretty active with um, various forms of exercise. Um, I cycled, I did yoga, um, gym work. I have two young kids, so I spent a lot of time playing around with the family and um, in my role as dad. I was injured uh, one morning when I was out cycling um, before work. Um, I don't remember exactly how I came off my bike. Um, but I have a, a pretty good idea that my bike tire just went down a drain cover. I flew over the top of the bike um, and it seems I landed on, on the front of my head here. Just before I was discharged from hospital I was told that um, I, uh, given my uh, Asia rating, um, I, I originally would have had a less than 10% chance of ever walking again. Um, but by that stage, fortunately, I'd already managed to get up and take some strides on the walking But we were still looking for stories of hope for my ongoing recovery, and my wife in particular was desperate to find some stories of, of, of hope and of good news and of people who um, have managed to get walking again and, and something like a normal gait. Okay, so the special thing for me, I think, about Project Walk is that this combination of um, incredibly talented and, and passionate uh, trainers um, and a room filled with clients who are so packed and filled with, with hope and belief in their recovery um, makes for a really special atmosphere here. You can cut it with a knife when you come in this place. It really is very much worth, um, if you can uh, raise the finances and find the time and support, come spend a few weeks here as soon as you can. Um, I've seen some really significant improvement in strength. I've seen some really big gains in the level of functionality. Um, I still have a lot of work to do, um, but it's undoubtedly been the right decision for me uh, to come here. So I'd say come and come as soon as you can.